And I now give the floor uh, to the representative from International Federation for Family Development. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by thanking all the hard work implemented by this commission during these days and wishing it a fruitful future for many years. According to the latest report of the Secretary General on Sustainable Cities, the share of the world's population living in urban areas is expected to increase from 55% to 60% in 2030. The speed and scale of urbanization brings challenges for all family members, such as children, parents, youth, persons with disabilities, and older persons. City leaders must move quickly to plan for this growth, while the capacity to tackle challenges is essential to assure a safe growth of all family members in the city. The International Federation for Family Development, present in 66 countries, is leading the Inclusive Cities for Sustainable Families project in the context of SDG 11 and the new urban agenda. The project has held two focus group meetings, one in the Veneto region, Italy, and another one in Sao Paulo, Brazil, with experts, policy makers, and civil society members. The ob objective is to find out their inputs on how modern cities need to be resilient and constantly diagnose of their urban strength so that families can find a proper place to live in them. Mr. Chairman, experts and other stakeholders of the project have agreed that the main points of the Inclusive Cities and Sustainable Families project are one, cities design should consider all family situations and social groups, flexible urban and environmentally sustainable planning and social services for all. Second, they should improve the link between new technologies and social inclusion to bridge the digital gap via training of older persons, professional carers and families in vulnerable situations. Third, they should focus on accessible and affordable child care facilities close to the residence or workplace of parents, parenting education, intergenerational education strategies targeting the youth and older persons. Fourth, establish specific programs to recognize the value of unpaid work and care and address the needs of families in vulnerable situations, including single parent families, large families, migrant families, etc. And finally, uh, they should create a welcoming environment in the streets based on solidarity, mutual support, and social interaction through instruments like promoting volunteers and neighborhood police, the use of cameras and public lighting, information and training on how to behave in case of natural disasters, terrorist attacks, etc. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank the representative of the International Federation for Family Development.